Okay, here's a little information about how to create a full a flow chart. I'm going to use the Panther keychain holder as an example, which I have pictured here. All right, step one, and I made this box so that I can make sure I keep each one of my steps going in a flow in an order. So step one is you need to gather your one by four by eight in eight foot pine board. Step two, which would be the next part of this, I need to set the rip fence to two and three eighths on the table saw. Okay. Then I move to my next step, which is rip the one by four by eight foot board on the table saw to two and three eighths. When we talk about ripping, we're cutting the board lengthwise. Now, follow my arrow, the flow. Then I need to set up my miter saw, which you could call a chop saw, um, and set the stop to 14 inches. Then I move my arrow, follows another path that goes into cross cut, one inch by two and three eighths inch by eight foot pine board to 14 inches with a miter saw, okay? So basically, we've just cut our board to what we need, okay? What it shows up here in the picture, okay? So we've got this basic square cut out rectangle. Next, I have to go get a scratch all and a hammer, all right? Using the stencil that we already have, I'm gonna mark the five spots Okay, five spots on the bottom edge of the wood blank. Okay, with the pencil, scratch all. I would go with a pencil, then I'd come down here, then I would say with the hammer and scratch all, which is a sharp pointed object, I would mark each one of my five spots with it. Okay, so if we go back up to the picture, I basically have found the holes for these five cup holders, okay? So from there, I need to gather my eighth inch drill bit. I need to set up the drill press to drill one, to drill the first hole, eighth inch at a depth of a quarter inch on the long edge, okay? I gotta set up the press. Now I can move to the next step, which is drill the first hole. We follow the arrow. I've created these boxes so I can fill them in. Then I have to set the drill press up to drill the second hole. Okay. Then I can drill the second hole. Then I have to set the drill press up again for the third hole. Then I can drill the third hole. Now we follow the arrow, the arrow comes down to the next page here. So what we've done so far is we've cut this blank out. We have drilled the holes for the five hooks. Now I need to get the orbable palm sander, some 220 grit sandpaper, and I need to sand the top of the board, okay? So I come over here. Once again, this is a repeat. You have to use the orbital sander and sand all sides of the boards. Then you're gonna use the orbital sander again with 600 sandpaper this time. You're gonna sand the top of the board. All right, just the top. Now, we follow the flow down. Now we're gonna use the Panther template that we've already made. This has already been made. We are going to trace Panther on the front side of the board with a pencil. Okay, so if we go back up and look at the picture here, we are stenciling in in pencil those letters that spell out Panthers. Follow the arrow. We come to the next box, which is our next step. It's get your wood burning tool. Okay, once we have it, now we can burn each letter, 
Okay. So basically we have the wood block made, sanded, the holes drilled for the cup holders, and now we have panthers burned into the wood. So we come to our next step. We need to get our natural wood stain and a towel or a rag. Using the natural wood stain, stain the top and sides of the wood blank and let it dry. So now we've got our blank stained. We can move to the next, the next step, which we follow my arrow, which keeps us in the flow going. Get your semi-gloss polyurethane spray can. Okay, our next step after that, we need to spray the front and sides of the wood blank. So now we have our clear coat put on. All right. Now, the next few steps can be done in any order, but we found it easier to do it this way. You got to get the picture. Should be picture hanger, the hammer, hooks, and your cup hooks. Get all that, anything else that's left that we need. Okay. We are going to attach one pitcher hanger hook to the top right back with the hammer. Okay. Then we're going to come over here to the next step and attach the top left. So now there's one on each end. And our last step, okay, we need to screw in all five cup hooks into our pre drilled holes on the bottom. All right. So. We basically, if you go back and look at our flow chart, this first part right in here, starting here, following the arrows till we get to here, this is where we transformed our raw materials. Okay, we've taken the one by four by eight and we've cut it down into our personal size. Okay, so we basically converted the raw materials into a product. Now, the next following steps through the flow chart. This is our this is where we are creating our our block, our keychain holder, all right? This is the fine tuning, so to speak. All right. Now we come down to here where it says to get our orbital sander. This is where we're refining our board okay and we're finishing it off and the last part where we got to put the picture hanger hooks on and our screws that's the assembly part okay the very last step here in this blank should be deliver the final product okay hopefully this gives you a better idea of how a flow chart works Okay, it's basically a step-by-step -step process. So if somebody wanted to make it, they could follow your chart and create this product. Okay. Hopefully that helps. It should help with the, the assignment that's going to be posted tomorrow. Or in this case, when you watch this today.